All right, so one of the great things about this, uh, this awning is it comes with a really well integrated awning attachment room. Uh, this is called our annex room. Uh, what it does is basically attaches to the structure of the awning itself uh, and then straps down to the floor. Uh, what you end up having is a totally waterproof grounded area that you can use for uh, storage. You can have a dog sleep out here. You can use this as an additional tent space. Um, it's a really wonderful addition. It comes in a nice compact bag like this. It's very loose. You can carry it around as a soft good inside here. Uh, I'm going to work with Jenny. We're going to get this unpacked and we'll show you how it sets up. All right, so when you unpack your annex room, it's going to come in two parts. The first is the main walls, doors, and window. What you have here is a few uh, separate things. Uh, if you get in close here, you can see that this is um, kind of a hardened uh, channel here, or a hardened uh, edge. That actually goes into the channel along the aluminum front and back of the awning. Um, there's also a zipper here, which is how this base material attaches, and then little loops at the end for your uh, stakes to go into the ground. So before we unpack the whole thing, just wanted to show you a little bit of the componentry, um, show you the difference between the waterproof ripstop canvas and then the uh, extra heavy duty base that's gonna go on the floor, and this will just be attached with a zipper. So, uh, now we'll open all this up and get it installed. All right, so when you unfold this and you're trying to orient yourself, one of the easiest things to do is to start by finding this zipper that is right along this hardened edge. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take that off first and unzip this entire portion. All right, we got a little Velcro at the end that just keeps it in place once it's installed. Okay, and now what you do is you want to come over and find this circular channel on one end and just feed that right into it. And what this is going to do is provide a really easy point to kind of complete the install just with a zipper instead of trying to channel this in when you have the whole thing that you're messing with. Um, so what we're going to do from here is we're going to go and we're going to do that same process of feeding it into this channel, but we're going to do it with the back edge. So we start the install at the far end of the trailer. When you find the other, uh, the other channel here, the other hardened part, um, that indicates that that's the back of the annex room. So you want to find that uh, and then figure out where we can install that on the awning itself. So you see another circular channel there uh, and we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to feed that in. And this does help to have two people. So one person's kind of holding it and then Jenny's gonna just pull that in. And just until we stop right about there. All right, so at this point, um, it's, it's a real simple, just step-by-step. Step. We're gonna take these uh, Velcro loops and just work down the trailer. I keep saying trailer, work down the awning and just put that in one step at a time. The last step to getting this secured on here, if you come in close and look, you can see where that zipper actually attaches from the main body to uh, the portion that we attached at the first step. So once you get that zipper started, you just go ahead and pull that all the way across. And that's the last step to securing this to the top of your awning. So we have this set up now. Uh, it's secured along the edges and in the front. Uh, what I've gone ahead and done is unzip this as well as the screen so every door uh, does come with this screen. And we've gone ahead and got this out of the way. It has toggles at the top to keep this, uh, this door up and, and uh, out of your face. And if we walk into here, I'll show you a little bit of the interior. All right, so what you can see on the far end, you have another door as well. This is uh, kind of opposite the door of the trailer. You have another door on your, uh, on your left side, and then this is the closed version. Uh, you do have an optional window here. Uh, the large opening on this side is what allows you to move freely in and out of the trailer. Uh, and then what we're walking on right now is kind of loosely laid out. This is, your, uh, this is your base material of the floor, and right now it's just kind of here. If the weather's dry and you just need a place to kind of change, you can keep this unzipped. But if you really do uh, experience a lot of rain and wet environments, you're going to want to secure this floor. So the way you do it is you look to the front. This floor is uh, directional, so you're going to have to look for the part where the, the zipper actually ends here. 
and then feed that into the front uh, of the, the walls themselves. And this is just the same kind of zipper you have uh, on the top area. So it's a nice heavy duty zipper. Uh, once you get it started, if I ever do, what you'll see is it actually comes up and you have about six inches of clearance there on that floor piece. So the walls are meant to hang a little high uh, and this just gives you extra protection so that if you do have somebody sleeping out here and it is raining, you can uh, guarantee that you have plenty of safety security and you'll stay dry all night. So this is a wonderful add-on. Uh, it doesn't come with the awning, but it is available for what I consider to be a really reasonable price based on all the benefit this adds just to your sleeping space, storage space, and general usability of the campsite.